Okay, before we get started with the decorating, I almost forgot we need to make the little folio book that goes inside the little pocket on the back of the front cover of our album. So you need to get your pieces cut and scored. And um, let me see what they were. You're going to have three pieces, six and a quarter by nine and an eighth, nine and an eighth by four and three eighths, and um, what was the other one? Six by six by eight. Well, anyway, all the in, the uh, measurements are on the are on the cutting guide for the cardstock. So you're going to have your outside cover, and then you're going to have two inside covers, and you will be scoring them where it tells you to score. So what you're going to be do, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the outside cover and just glue in our inside covers like so. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So I just need to make sure I have them in the right order because I do have have a marked one, two, and three. So I have one. This is the outside cover, and then this one I'm going to glue in, and then this one I'm going to glue. In. And when you glue these in. You need to make sure that you go in between the two score lines. You're just going to center it right in here on your page and make sure you don't and, and center it in between the two score lines. You do that. And you'll do it for this page when you put this one in. And then, then you'll have some more score lines here that you'll put this page in. And then once we have all our pages glued together, then we're going to add our, our decorative paper. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's all together. Now, I just glued mine together with the, the art glitter glue. I didn't use score tape, but you can use score tape. But I just used the art glitter glue because this is a really strong glue. And this, um, so now we have a little folio where we can place all our pictures. And this is what it looks like. So, um, yeah. So now... All we need to do is find some the decorative paper that we're going to put on these. And you're just going to measure it to fit and just use your scraps. All the scraps, we have plenty of leftover scraps. I'm just going to go through mine, pick out which ones I want to use, and then we'll, we'll just glue them to all the, uh, all the pages. And then, then I'll show you what mine looks like when I have all mine together here. Okay, I've got um, all mine together here. What I needed to tell you, which I neglected to tell you, was if you want a closure on yours, you need to cut your little piece. I think it's one, one and, let me see, what was it? One by three and a half. And you're going to want to put this, if you're going to have magnets, make sure you put your magnets under, on before you put your paper on top, and also for the back. So make sure you attach it before you put your, your papers on. And then I have my magnet here because I thought of it later and I had to pull this off and then stick my magnet under there because I totally forgot I wanted to do that. And um, so I have my little magnet behind here and I put a little piece of pattern paper to cover it up and it just goes like that. And on the sides of my pages here, and the papers, see how the papers, they have these I just left it this size so I didn't have to do much cutting, so I would I just cut through it and just did the, because um, they're four by six, you know, they're four this way and then six across, and then I just, so they fit exactly on the inside pages, so it's like there's not going to be a border, so if you want a border, you're just going to need to cut yours down, because it's, because it's exactly six across. Now you're going to have a little bit on the, on the side where the hinge is, but that's okay. But that's what it's going to look like. So this is kind of like how mine turned out. So I just used these up because I had some of these and I just wanted to use them. And they're going to get covered with pictures anyway, so I really didn't even, you know, wasn't really too much interested, you know, caring what the um, background was because they're just going to get covered up with the picture. So that's what it, and then it just closes with the magnet. And the idea for this, what I wanted to make this for, is when you get your album out, I wanted it to go in this pocket here. That was my idea. So when it's all together, we'll see if this is going to be a plan that works or not, because there was no way I could try ahead of time to see if it would work until I had everything together. But I wanted it to just 
and it looks like it might work. Yes, I wanted it to just slide in just like that and then close. Let's see if that's going to close with my neck. That's going to close. Let me bring it down. There we go. So that's what I wanted it to do. So that's that. So now we can start with the decorating. Okay, so let's start with the inside cover. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking the half inch um, um, lace that was in my package and like and, all, and you know all the materials list you can check that out to see um, exactly which one this is but this is what it looks like. So I was thinking of just putting that across the top of the pocket like this and then adding some of the little bling on a roll on top of that so it'll look like this. And then I take this little flower and then I was going to tuck some of these little little white ones in there right under here and have it look kind of like that. So that's my plan. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot easier for me to do this off camera because I really need to be close to my work when I do this. And I would just be in the way so you wouldn't be seeing anything anyway. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, I've got everything glued down and this is what it looks like. You see that here? So I got my flower and my, my lace and my bling. The only thing I did is I made a little bow and I put one of the little flat back pearls in the center of the bow. Now the ribbon size that I used is 1 8 because that's the only one I had in pink. So I'll, if I make bows, that's the size that I'm going to be using. But um, so let me bring it up just a little bit closer. Maybe you can see that's what it looks like. So it turned out really pretty. You know, it's really cute. I really like this paper. Now we're going to go on to page two over here. And this is going to be a very simple page um, because it's going to be mainly for you to, to add pictures. So I'm not going to have it very dimensional. But what I did with the little wood pieces, you know, these little wood pieces that were in my little kit, I took some of them and I silver embossed them. And this little one, it says, Be Jolly. And I'm thinking about putting that one right up here on that, on this page here for that. And just leave it simple like that, then you'll have a nice little picture right here with the Be Jolly right, right there. And then on the inside, like I said, I'm going to leave these pretty much the way they are. But on the little pocket, I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here. I'm going to add a little piece of the little half inch lace and then I'm going to put the little bling on the roll on top of that like that. And that's all I'm going to do on this because but I'm not going to have enough space for my um, for the spine to really put anything dimensional right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, this is what my page looks like. <clears throat> I got the, the lace and the bling on the roll and I silver heat embossed this little wooden Christmas ordinament and then I just put a little Swarovski crystal in the center of it right like that. And if you don't have the crystals you can just cut one of these little pieces off the bling on the roll and just stick that on top of there. But that's what that looks like. And it's keeping it really, you know, relatively flat. So when you close it it's going to be like this. And then for up here on this I'm going to put the Bee Jolly. So I'm just going to glue that just like that. So let me do that. So I'll just glue that down. So I'll just add a little bit of glue. Then I'll put that And look like that. Be jolly. Okay, let's let that set and then we'll go to the next page. Okay, let's do these next two pages. Now these next two pages I'm going to do exactly the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this real pretty trim that was in my design scheme package and I'm going to put it on both of these. Now I'm not going to go straight across. I am going to cut it. I'm going to go, but I'm going to put it on both of these like that. And then I'm going to take some more of the bling on the roll and I'm going to put that on the tops like that on both of them. So let me do that and I will show you what mine looks like. Okay, we got the 
the lace and the bling on. So the next thing I think I want to do is add a flower in the center here on both of these with some leaves. So, so this is what I was thinking. I was thinking about just putting some leaves up like that and then putting one of the little flowers in like that. So that's what I was thinking. So it'll look like that. So that's what I was... Can I tilt that up so you can see a little bit better? That's what I think I'm going to go ahead and do on this page. So let me do that and then I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, this is how they turned out. I couldn't remember if I showed you this part or not, but this is how they turned out. They turned out really, really nice. So now let's go to the next page. And on the next page, I'm going to take the little bling on a roll here, and I'm actually going to go around the bottom pocket only with that. Because you don't want to do it on your second pocket because you're going to be taking tags in and out and then this bling would just be in the way. You could, if you wanted to, put it on the top pocket, but I don't think I'm, I mean on the top flap, but I don't think I'm going to do that here. I think I'm just going to go around this one here. And I might zip on over to the next page and do something over here, but I'm not sure yet. But let me just do this first and then I'll show you what mine looks like. Yeah, I just wanted to real quick tell you. Now, I know when you get started doing this, you're going to go, oh my gosh. Yes, it can be a little fiddly. It can be. Just give the the art glitter glue a little bit of time to grab a hold of it. But once it, once it does, you're going to be set. Yeah, it is going to be a little fiddly. You might want to just do it in little sections. Put some glue down, hold it, let it attach, and then just... You know, just go around piece by piece instead of trying to do the whole thing all at once. You know, instead of putting your glue all the way down and then trying to do it, that might be a little bit hard to do. So just do it in little sections. This glue is going to grab it just fine. Just give it, you know, a few seconds to do that. I just wanted to let you know that before you got started. Okay, I've got the bling on. So i got that all the way around. So what I'm thinking of doing now is maybe... i got these little flowers here doing something like that right there. And that's what I think I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go over to the next page and start working on getting some of that. Let me move that over so you can see what I'm talking about. Some of the bling up on this one right here. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what my pages look like when I have them finished. Okay, this is what I've done so far. If you saw that page, I've got this on and I added this little flower here. And then on the inside, I went ahead and just, I didn't put any of the bling here, but I did just put a little cluster of flowers and some little teeny tiny leaves here on that. So that's all I'm going to do on that page, and I'm going to leave the rest, I think, just like that. For now. Later on I might come back and do something, but for now this is what I'm going to be doing. So now let's go on to the next pages. Okay, let's see what we're going to do on these next two pages. This is the one with the waterfall. I'm really not going to do too much on that. I did silver heat emboss, the little ornament from the wooden box kit thing, and I'm going to, I think I'm just going to stick it right at the bottom of the latch for the waterfall, just like that, and maybe put a little crystal on the top. And then for this side, so I'm going to do both of these together, so on this side, I'm not going to do anything here or on these pages here, but when I flip it over, there's a little pocket here. I'm just going to take some more of this little trim, this little half inch lace trim. I'm going to put that along the side here, and I'm also going to put it along the side of the side pocket on this, on this page, or on that side. And then I'm going to take the bling on the roll and just put it down across here and then down across over here. So let me do that, and then I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, so I heat embossed the little ornament, the little wooden ornament, and I put a little crystal on there. So that's what I'm going to do for this page, and I think that's all I'm going to do on this page. This one, I think, is fine just like that. And now on this page, I told you I was going to leave these plain. You know, I wasn't going to put anything on those. So I went ahead and added the lace and the bling. And I went ahead and tucked a little flower up in the corner here on that one. And then this one, the lace and the bling. The only thing on this page here, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, is on this trim that I have here, I'm thinking of cutting one of these off, just one of the little, one of those off, and putting it up here on the top of the page, and then taking the little wooden piece 
and you know silver and where am I? Silver embossing that, and then just sticking it right up on it so it'll be right up on this page like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if I like that and then if I do I'll show it to you now. So let me go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, well I didn't like the way that looks so what I had it did is I put the piece down here. So I put that there and then I just put some flat back pearls on the top of that. So that's what I'm going to do for this page. So that's what we have here. So now we just need to go on to this page right here. So let me see what I'm going to do and I'll be right back. Okay, for the next two pages I think I'm going to just take the bling on the roll and go through here and then see if I want to put flowers after I put the bling on across and maybe put a flower. So that's what I think I'm going to be heading in that direction here. And um, So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, this is what I came up with for these two pages. I did the little bling on the roll, I put a flower, and then the little wooden uh, kit had some of these little uh, leaves. So I went ahead and just tucked those underneath the flowers on both sides. So that's what I did here. And I didn't emboss them or anything, I just left them totally wood grain. So I thought that looked really nice. So yeah, I didn't want to make them silver. So that's what I do with this page here. So we just need to go to the last two and then we'll be finished with the embellishment part that I'm going to be doing right now. Okay, what I think I'm going to do on these last two pages is I'm going to put, they're not glue down, is I'm going to put some flat back pearls just on the top of the pocket and then I'll put a flower I think on either corner and then that's going to be it for those pages. So let me do that and I'll show you what mine looks like. Okay, so we have all the embellishment part finished with the album. So the last thing we need to do is we need to put in the other part of the iron hook. The part that goes in here that's going to latch your album closed. So what we need to do, or what we need to do, is decide what you want to use um, whether you want to use lace, ribbon, you can even use chain. I've done it with chain before. So I just cut off a piece of this lace and what you're going to do is when you look at this, you see those two little circles? Where you're just going to thread your your ribbon or lace or whatever you're putting through. Just go in one hole and bring it through and then Go to the other one and bring it through that way. I only I do it that way because I want the um, flat surface on this side of my, and then I just let it drop and I just find the center of my. Whoops! I just find the center and then just let it go, and that's what I have here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take it and you're going to hook it into your album like that. And you're going to bring it over towards the back. Now when you bring your album, don't close your album super tight like this. Because if you do that, you're not going to have room for any of your pictures once you put it in there. So I kind of just let mine go like that's how I want mine. Because I know that's still going to have, there's still plenty of room there. So you just want to find the center of the back of the cover where you're going to tack your lace down. So let me just show you what I mean. Okay, I kind of see, oops, sorry, I needed to bring my head and I didn't mean to do that. See where we're even here? And I'm going to, this a little tacky glue real quick here. Just tack, move that out of the way. <laughs> I know this can be a little tricky because you're trying to hold. Yeah, I know that's where I want it. That can sit for a second. Yeah, I had to let go. Because I need to make sure I'm where I want to be. So let me bring my album up so I can see. I need to bring it out a little bit more. I want it like that. Okay, then I, I have a little little clamp, then I'm going to clamp on there, 
I just let that, I need to just let that set and, and, uh, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I've got the, the closure on. I was originally going to, I usually put a flower or something on the back, but because of the way I cut my paper and the little Santa Claus here, I didn't want to put a flower and cover up Santa Claus. So I, from my stash, I found this really pretty flat back, like, like little crystal thing here. And I put that there because I just did want to cover up his face. And I'm just going to leave the little extra lace hanging down for now. I might change my mind, but I think I'll leave it. It kind of looks nice. So we have finished the album, and it turned out so nice. Um, this is the first time I've ever um, done a, a tutorial like this. And I thought the cutting, the cutting guides would help, but because um, I wasn't sure how I was going to use my camera because I don't have an overhead camera. My camera's over to the side. So in order for me to stop and go, stop and go, I, I wasn't sure how that was going to work. But I, I think I'll be able to do it next time without a cutting guide because I know that can be a lot of, you know, misleading or, or whatever. And um, unless you like the cutting guide idea, but next time I think I'll try it without the cutting guide and we'll just cut together. But um, all I need to do now is make the picture mats and then I'll do an overview when I'm finished doing that. But I want to thank all of you for joining me on my first mini album tutorial for JNS Hobbies and Crafts. And, um, and I'll see you when I do the overview. Bye for now.